One of the worst film vlogs I've done in quite some time. Let's go to Spanos Park, a really interesting golf course in Stockton. And probably one of the best twilight rates that if I lived closer, I'd go to Spanos because it's really interesting. It's a very thoughtful golf course in terms of you have to be precise off of the tee. This first hole, you could take iron and wedge. It's a short hole, but the more distance you take on, the more hazards come into play. It's a thinking man's golf course. And what I absolutely love about the course is it plays firm and fast. And even though maybe for a world-class golfer, it might not be the most formidable challenge for someone at my skill level. It's a very fun course that resembles some of the world-class best ones in the world. I like to think of it if I, if I got to play Narn, that Narn would be maybe a more elegant version of Spanos Park. I'm talking too much. Got a bogey on the first hole. It's pretty straight away. Number two always eats my lunch. Uh, hit one outright and then hit the mega pull into the water. So now I'm hitting, what is this, four? Really hit this good. Don't giggle too hard if you can hit a like a seven iron or an eight iron better than that because that's about my really catching one right there. And that was into the wind. So we're going for, what is this? I've lost track and it doesn't matter. No one's on here going, man, Lukey's going to make the tour. I'm definitely not. So hit a putt. Didn't really believe in that one. Good, decent lag. As you can see, water in play all down the left-hand side. And it's just a risk-reward par five very, very early in your round where you just have to commit to lines. And you hate to see it, the three putt. But it does happen. Uh, third hole is kind of like a lot of these on the front side. And we're only going to see this front side on this vlog. Where there are hazards, but it's pretty wide open and it's pretty firm. And you just kind of pick a target, try to hit the ball as hard as you can. Give yourself a wedge in and hope you can stop the ball in the green, which is firm. Uh, I had a good number in, pitching wedge, and I just pulled it. But I hit a really good chip up there. And these greens are really fun. Like, I won't lie to you. The wind makes it tough, but the greens are really, really fun just to play around on. Number four, it's always tricky to get a number on it. Sometimes it seems like it plays short. Sometimes it plays long. The wind affects it. Sometimes it feels like the heat affects it. I know I'm saying Captain Obvious, but I've never gotten a good sense of how this hole plays. Um, it hit a decent pitch there, but at the same time, given how I'm putting on this day, I got to do better than that because it's like when you're not feeling you have it with the putter, you're trying to have everything be a tap in. You're looking for exceptional. Number five, once again, it's just kind of like, can you bang it out there? There are hazards, but it's also really wide open to the right where you could hit it into a parallel fairway. This was, in my opinion, so friggin' good. Hit a gap wedge there, stayed out of a bunker. And I just hit it too good. I'm having trouble adjusting to the wind. I'm a golf robot. I can't recalibrate my system. And thankfully, I drilled this one. But this is a, a lot of what the course is. Firm conditions. I think they had just kind of maybe aerated it. So don't judge the greens based strictly on that. Because it is a public course. But it has a country club-like feel. And I think it's really, really fun for what it is. And I think it also, what's cool about this course is... It's very playable for many different skill levels. And I think oftentimes people uh, glorify the courses that only the best players can play, which I think is kind of silly. This is a kind of atrocious. I'm trying to get better at pitching the ball, hit two good shots on a par five, and then just missed my spot on this hole. Then I got too much ball trying to get cute and nip it. And this is what you hate to see, making, making a... F Four shots from inside 100 yards is not the game I'm trying to have, but you have to accept that happens. Favorite hole on the front nine is this risk reward. You can take on these bunkers if you hit a good drive. There's water all down your right. Those are the bunkers you can take on on hole seven. I surprisingly pounded it and hit a tremendous shot and gave myself a good approach. And when I look at that, all I can see is my right shoulder coming over the top. But I did mission number one, which was don't go in the water, which I think when you play this hole and you hit the approach, it's a very difficult approach for the average golfer, the layman golfer. And when you're looking at this for a public 
a daily fee, a public golf course. There's a lot of different shots you can hit at this course, and it's a great twilight round. Almost got that in for a birdie, which would have been the super surprise. Going super avant-garde here. Hole number eight is just a hole I've never... I don't even think I've ever bogeyed it. I think every time I play this hole, I just get a double. There's a lot of sand, uh, waste area, kind of like pronghorn uh, 14-ish, if I'm remembering the right hole from pronghorn. And it just feels like I'm never emotionally in this hole. Once again, another double bogey. Leave a comment if you know how to play that hole, because like that hole, I, I get, I'm filming this pretty bad but also there's some of these holes where I, I got off work I'm trying to I decided to play nine holes fork out the cash pretty hot sneaky hot and um I don't know I'm just I'm trying to do the best I can so if you enjoy it you enjoy it and if you're going out on a buddy's trip or a day playing golf maybe this helps uh, nine you finish with water down your left hand side 18 is the polar opposite water down your right hand side I hit a good drive, I hit a good approach, but I just did not judge the wind. So I hit it really, really good by my standards of driving, hit a gap wedge too good, left it right there, got up and down par. Subs my belly was growling, but subscribe to my channel, it really helps, and I appreciate every single person that is enjoying the content.